Morning all, hope you're well. <clears throat> Had a reasonable night's sleep last night for the first time in a while. I've just uploaded a video of me re-drilling the Tom Phillips pipe and it smoked so well I couldn't resist it. I was smoking it again this morning. Sorry about the lighting, but um, beautiful freehand pipe. Lovely grain. You see there's a bit of a flattened sort of edge around there, a little bit of a hexagon, but the rest of it is round, kind of a soft hexagon. Interesting shaping there and profiling. Cumberland stem. Once again, some Orlick Golden Sliced. I've had Orlick Golden Sliced in my cellar almost since the day I started smoking a pipe, but very, very rarely smoked it on its own. When I first took up the pipe, I started with aromatics. Mostly um, cherry blends. After a bit of time moving on to uh, Cult Blood Red Moon, I smoked that quite a bit. <coughs> um, and then eventually moving on to Latakia based blends. And that's what it was for quite some time. And all along that time, almost from the beginning, I kept on trying to smoke Virginias. It's almost like I didn't feel like I was a pipe smoker unless I could smoke Virginia tobacco. To me, it seemed like Virginia tobacco was adult smoking. And when I smoked aromatics, which is of course not true, but that's how I felt at the time. And when I smoked aromatics, it was like smoking a, an alcohol pop compared to smoking a whiskey. Initially, and 
tried selling them, but I didn't. I think that was my first post on Instagram in those days. Um, but in the end, I actually ended up holding on to them. And I think I still have the remnants of some of them in the uh, open jars that I've got in my shelf. On the bayou is probably the original tin. On the town probably isn't. The cellar isn't. But one or two of them, possibly the original from Morton, might still be from that original tin. And the dates on the jar does say 2016. Um, but I, I fell in love with Latakia after that. Um, and specifically with Northwoods. And I smoked a hell of a lot of Northwoods. As I say, all the while trying different Virginias and not coping. Just not being able to deal with the tongue bites. I think one of the first things I tried was McBaron's Scottish mixture. For me, that was one of the be all and end all sort of aromatics. Uh, to me, it was a, a proper, um, the aroma really was amazing. I liked the aroma of it, the room note. Um, and it kind of reminded me of pipe smoking that I remembered from my youth. I say youth, I'm only a young 50 years old now, but um, I remember from when I was about eight or nine years old, I've mentioned this before, I had a teacher who used to smoke a pipe in the classroom. I remember quite specifically that he had, because it's quite um, an easy to remember pipe, he had a falcon pipe, he had a metal pipe, it's the only time I'd ever seen a metal pipe. And I'm pretty sure it was a falcon. He had a falcon and he had a corn cob. And uh, in those days, I didn't know what a corn cob was, but it's only once now I got used to seeing different types of pipes and seeing what a corn cob was that I remember the color of, of the pipe that he smoked and the orange stem. The orange stem always grabbed me because I thought it was, as a kid of a nine or 10 years old, the color sort of was almost uh, like a, um, a luminous orange. It was really very standout in a very black and white kind of age. You know, there wasn't that much uh, colour in life in those days. Everything was very, uh, I won't say depressing, but uh, you know, you didn't see a lot of colour in school. Let's put it that way. It was all um, very, very basic and boring and depressing and grey. That's what life was, how I remember it anyway, to some extent, in school anyway. At home, it was very different. My parents gave us a very, in how I see it, a very broad and balanced uh, upbringing. And uh, we'll always be grateful for that, it's really down to earth. Um, the various different Virginias, Auric Golden Slice being one of them, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't smoke them. You know, I'd smoke them for a minute or two, and then my tongue would be in, in agony. And uh, I remember buying that um, Mario Grandi pipe, which I gave recently to uh, to Artie, uh, to Art uh, Pipes and or Artie's place as he is now on his channel. Um, used to be Pipes and Spirits, my good friend Art. Um, I know he likes chunky pipes, and um, so I sent him that recently, but the, the purpose of that pipe, it's a bit of a doorstop pipe, um, but the purpose of it was to have these thick walls, um, and I thought at the time that that would cool the smoke down and, and give me a, a cooler smoke and, and less tongue bite, not understanding that the pipe itself, the thickness of the pipe, necessarily a good thing to keep the tobacco cool. It might keep the outside walls of the of the pipe cool, but not necessarily the tobacco. Anyway, as you all know, till uh, December 
2017, I very rarely smoked anything, anything Virginia Ford. And then in December 17, a miracle happened. I discovered nine mil pipes. Um, and then uh, just my world, my piping world changed and I could smoke any tobacco I wanted, literally any tobacco at all. It removed enough of the moisture to enable me um, to just smoke anything. And that's since then I've not looked back. Um, so I started off this conversation talking about all the golden sliced, why I was smoking it now, um, but that's why. Uh, a little bit of a long, uh, windy way around getting back to where we are today. So Audi Golden Sliced I had used as a, um, I just filled up my reservoir this morning, can you see? It's still a bit dirty. So I used to use it, I still use it for um, London Fog, mixed it with uh, Virginia Woods by McLellan's and that was what I used it for. Um, but um, I'm starting to appreciate it now on its own. And I'm appreciating it more I think because I've been enjoying uh, the Mayon blend from uh, the Danish pipe shop, the Vintage Flake. Um, it's really quite similar, but the Vintage Flake is richer and sweeter and not as zesty. Um, originally I thought maybe it was just a, a, perhaps a more aged version of all, all it Golden Slice, but it is quite similar in some ways. I think there is a difference. It's certainly richer and sweeter. Um, but at the moment I can't get that um, Vintage Flake, so I'm basically now trying to find a Virginia Flake which is similar to that. I tried full, a few bowls of full Virginia Flake but really didn't, uh, didn't come up to it. I find full Virginia Flake is just too subtle. And you really just have to sit down um, in a quiet moment and really appreciate full Virginia Flake. It's not a tobacco for, for me anyway, it's not a tobacco for, for running around with driving or doing other stuff. You really need to sit and relax, breathe deeply and focus on the subtle nuances of that blend. It is a very nice blend, but for me it's just too subtle to enjoy most of the time. Whereas that um, the vintage flake from Danish Pipe Shop, it really gives you flavours straight off. You don't have to really um, have that sort of quiet moment with it. You can enjoy it anytime. In as much as you enjoy any blend without too much focus, because some every blend will give you more, will deliver more if you focus on it. If you sit and you pace yourself, you relax, you, you sort of clear your mind and you sit in a quiet environment and you just breathe it naturally and you just let it sort of be one with you, you, you will just, and you let your mind focus on the different flavours, you will get a much more sublime fo uh, smoke from any blend if you do that. But plenty of blends you can smoke without having to do that and still enjoy them. And that's the difference really with, uh, I find the Vintage Flake, I can smoke any time and enjoy it. Sure, I'll get a much better smoke if I sit back and focus on it, but I can still enjoy it without that. Whereas the Full Virginia Flake, I find I, I can't. In terms of the only golden slice, what it is for me, it's really quite zesty. People talk about an orange flavour and I can see where they're coming from. It does have that kind of thing. It reminds me a little bit of one of the Germain's um, tobaccos. I, can't, I forget which one it is, if it's the brown flake or the medium flake. Um, but I don't smoke it that much. To, I'm not 100% familiar with it, but it does remind me of that. Um,
but it is also quite a thin flavor profile. It's not an in-your-face uh, flavor. It's classic Virginia to me. Um, people say that, that there's some perique in it. I think there used to be burley in it in the old days. Possibly there's a dash of perique in it now. I don't detect it at all. Um, and uh, it's presumably just enough. If it, if it is in there, it's probably just a tiny amount just to give it its unique flavor compared to other Virginia blends. But for all intents and purposes, for me, this is a classic Virginia blend. I'd say it's a good cleanser. You know, if you're between tobaccos and you want to have a smoke, but you don't really want, say, a heavy Latakia or a heavy uh, sort of dark fired Virginia or something like that, then this is a good cleanser if you want to have a smoke without coloring your palate. So just another view, here we are, beautiful pipe, and I have to say it's smoking beautifully, not a hint of gurgle. I think the original drill must have been 3mm, and um, I've re-drilled it with 4mm, the 4mm uh, drill bit. I thought it was 3 but I think it's 4 I'm going to double check it, but I'm pretty sure it's 4mm. I think that because um, this is a filtered pipe, um, four mil is not doing any harm. I don't know. Some people might drill three mil, um, but even if if four mil is considered wider, which I don't think it is, I think four mil is a quite a standard uh, draft diameter. Um, but even if it's even if it isn't, because you're using a filter which will give you a little bit of resistance, um, going to four mil doesn't do any harm. And the drill on this, the, the, the draw on this is, as I say, it's velvety smooth. Reminds me of, of some of the Dunhill pipes I've smoked. I've always said that, for you know, people have asked, is Dunhill worth the premium? For me, the standout feature of the Dunhills, the ones at least that I've smoked, have been the draw. The draw has given me always that velvety smooth draw. And this is really similar to that. So uh, all in all, very happy with the outcome of that re drill. So, for now, I will wish you a wonderful day, enjoy your smokes, and I will catch you on the next one.